Uh, their uh, their uh, their rationale has been uh, or is that uh, that the cost estimates have uh, escalated significantly and they're not prepared to absorb those cost estimates. Do they say what the cost estimates are? Yes. Uh, cost yes. estimates are in yes. the in the billions. Um, uh, I, I can't remember the exact number. Uh, I, my, my answer to them is there is an RFP process, which is really the way you determine the, the what costs are going to be going into the future. Uh, they've determined that they're not prepared to go down that road to uh, see it through. How do they know it's going to cost that much? They made estimates. Because the Originally, LRT they, uh, is less than a billion dollars, right? Yeah, so well, you know what? Uh, uh, so billion dollars capital cost. And I think you have to differentiate between capital cost and long-term operating and maintenance costs. And they're looking at life cycle costs in totality. Uh, their claim is that the life cycle costs of this project have gone from $3 million to $5 billion, $3 billion to $5 billion over, over the entire 30-year term, which has never been uh, the way that we've measured the capital cost of this project. In any event, they're, they're claiming that the capital costs have escalated. They haven't really demonstrated, uh, in, in, to my satisfaction or anyone else's satisfaction, how and why and to what degree. How do you feel about this? Uh, I think I think it's outrageous that they've uh, made this uh, announcement for two reasons. One, it's a betrayal of the city of Hamilton Absolutely. in terms of the, uh, the the commitments that they've made uh, since the election. Uh, the premier came forward and said uh, they're prepared to move forward on this project, and I think that's a complete betrayal. The previous minister came in and said that uh, that we're lifting the the freeze on the property acquisition, and uh, we're moving forward. Uh, and now we get a next, a next minister that says uh, they've now got some estimates that suggest that the costs are higher than anticipated. Um, in my view, uh, that's a betrayal of the city of Hamilton. Uh, yes. that, that is not working in good faith with a partner. Uh, in my mind, it says that uh, the province isn't open for business. They're, they're looking to close down uh, businesses across the province. Uh, we have three, uh, three bidders that are procuring this, uh, international bidders respected international bidders that are now told to uh, park their pens and go home. And we have uh, some 40 employees uh, funded by Metrolinx that are now told today that they don't have a job tomorrow, uh, just before Christmas. Christmas. How much money so has been spent I think it's a do a betrayal uh, of the entire city, and I think the electoral process in the city of Melbourne, and as the, as the Premier pointed out, there was an election here not long ago, yeah. built on LRT. Yeah. Uh, the mayor won the election supporting yes. LRT. Hamilton gets an LRT. That, that apparently was not true, that was a lie, and they've been angling to cut this project ever since.